Hi all and welcome back to Amelia Finance. I'm a project and product manager with over 10 years of experience and I love sharing project and project management best practices with the people that are new to the field or just looking to get skilled up and learn more about best practices and what they can be doing. So today I want to talk about PM interview processes and really PM means product manager, project manager in this instance, not, not in many other instances. So you perhaps you've taken the product owner course and so now you're a product owner product manager perhaps you passed the PMP test fantastic excellent and you say to yourself you know I've had a great opportunity at where I am today but I really want to grow my skill sets or I want new exposures new new things and you say I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put my resume out and I'm gonna see what happens so fast forward a couple weeks you have an interview scheduled what are you expecting so many interviews right now are virtual, which means you probably have Zoom details or Teams details that you dial into, and you'll never actually go on site. So in to go on site. So what you're going to see is often the interview is going to be broken up into around three segments or so. The first 15 minutes is going to be about you, who you are, what gets you excited in the morning, why are you looking for a new role. The next 10 minutes or so will be more focused on what your skill sets are, what you bring to the table, more challenging questions to really deep dive into what you can do well, what you're uncomfortable with, or where you might have gaps and just exposure opportunities. And then the final five minutes will really be about the culture, the company, who's interviewing you, and just asking a little bit more personal questions. Um, and so first part, the little bit about you, those first, first 15 minutes, let's go into that a bit more. So that first 15 minutes, that you part, remember that when you start the interview, the person interviewing you may not have read your resume. They may have been running from meetings all day, they could have come from several other interviews in the past, or perhaps they have never done an interview before. And so make sure you tell your story of who you are, where have you come from, where did you get educated, what what companies have you been with and why were you there for that amount of time? What exciting things and really what are those metrics? Did you increase a uh, number of people using the product? Did you drive revenue? So get into a little bit of the tacticals of why, why, why would you be a good fit? Um, and then stay on topic. So it, they'll ask you questions and don't deviate too far. Keep yourself focused on those questions, but definitely tell the story. What was the challenge you encountered? and elaborate on that. What was your favorite project and why? Tell the story of the industry. How big was the team? How long was the project? What were you trying to do? What technologies did you use? And just tell the story about you and your background and really just share that information because they might not be able to get that from their the one page resume that you've submitted. And then really give context. Continue to give context. And then a couple two don'ts. Don't hate on the company either you're with or you've been with in the past. Stay positive, talk about you just went for new opportunities, and it could have been a terrible work experience, but no one wants to be bashed. And then only stay, only go so personal. People want to just hear the professional side of you at this point. They really don't want to hear about your um, challenging your personal life or your children or your vacation next week of two weeks into the Bahamas. Stay fairly focused on what you're trying to share with them about who you are. So part two of it is about you and those are the deeper questions. So this is around the 15 minute mark or so and this will be the challenging questions. How did, what, were, what was the most challenging project you were involved in? How did you fix it? How big of a team have you led? What were challenges you encountered there? Have you worked with teams that are in many locations? How has been COVID and working remote for such a long time? And uh, it, perhaps they'll talk about certifications. And this is very important to not lie or to fudge or to overdo, overshare what you're doing. You're tr they're trying to see if you're a good fit so that way they can put you in a role that you're successful in. Because actually both parties want success. And so making sure that you're truthful and honest and if you haven't experienced something that they're asking you about, be frank about that. Say, I haven't really come across that experience, but I've had an experience that's similar, perhaps, and sh then share the story from there. And just tell them, also tell, talk about what certifications you're looking to receive. Maybe you're studying for something else, or you're looking for X, Y, or Z in your next role. And start sharing that and blending that into the equation as well. 
And as you're sharing that information about what you're looking for in that new role, that's a perfect segue into the final five minutes or so of the interview. And this will be where you can ask more about the culture fit, what, why is the person there? This is really good where it shows your research that you've done. So ha did you look and see what this company's competitors are? What are, th what are the news stories about this company that they're doing today? Um, you can do a quick LinkedIn search on whoever's interviewing you, and that's not creepy, but you can call out different things. You can say, hey, I saw on LinkedIn that you spent your whole career at Company X. Tell me about that. What makes you excited, right? Most people leave after a few years, or they spend 10 years in this particular role. So ask them to tell them a little bit. Ask them about themselves so you can get an understanding of why people stay for the amount of time they do, what they're looking forward to, what they're excited about. Um, and understanding what are the expectations. Do you need to be in the office every day of the week? Do you need to do X, Y, or Z? Is volunteerism a really big part? What what part what are what core values connect to with them so that way you can make sure that you're doing the right fit for your for yourself. And then a little bit of an extra on the side. So before you have that interview, make sure that you've restarted your machine your speakers work if you use any lights they work your microphone works close out all your extra applications so nothing distracts you be focused and in the present in the moment if you need a glass of water have that next to you um i like to stand during interviews but that's a personal preference and just remember if an interview goes past your allotted amount of time so if it's a 30 minute interview and it goes to 45 that's great that means you're having a really good conversation and enjoy that just dive into that have fun Con a conversation is as much of a dance as an art so just by having that extra amount of time it shows that there's an engagement and excitement and it shows that both sides hopefully are liking each other and what they're hearing and they're talking about and there's a really like positive thing with that um if there's any other questions let me know i know I, there's so much more in an interview than just what i've covered but please uh try this out let me know how this works and best of luck for everyone that's interviewing or has interviewed or uh, has new job offers so with that thanks for watching amelia finance like follow ask questions thanks all best of luck